What's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hopper clock or engine I guess if you want to refer to it that way. It can be used for both of them kind of as a timer device or as a powering device. As you can see here it's running all by itself here there's really not much to it it's pretty simple setup and it goes through and works on a specific time. Now one thing that's really great about how this clock works is that you can kind of configure it to the work to the time that you want so unlike doing a uh, a uh, specific kind of redstone clock which is like you know one tick eight clicks four ticks or something like that you can really kind of dial it into specifically how much you want it to run for how long and you know big delays and stuff so it's really simple to actually make um, I'm gonna say I did not invent this I saw a version of it on another video somewhere that was non related and so I kind of broke it down disassembled it put it back together and came up with what you have here and I want to show you guys how to make it so here we go alright first off all you're going to need is pretty much the stuff that you see down in my item toolbar here minus the redstone torch this was for something else just some redstone you're going to need two comparators two hoppers a block of redstone um, I'm just using wool just for design purposes and two sticky pistons so if you're doing this in survival mode you got a little bit of work to do to get it ahead of time easy, easy way to set this up here is just two rows of six blocks like this side by side and then you're going to want to decide on the back side here just one of these two we're going to call this the back so it's really easy to figure out which direction you're going okay now at the very first part here what you want to do is you want to drop a hopper right on top of it there now right next to it you want to do is hold control and click it so that this hopper goes into that one break this one I know it's crazy right and put this one back on here so that they go back into each other it's important that they connect to each other like this if they don't it won't work okay now what you need to do is take your comparators and put them on opposite sides of the hoppers facing away from each other like that okay you put another block here at the very end of it and to the sides of it what you're going to do is you're going to put a sticky piston facing each other like this so you can kind of see what's going on here I just want you to be able to see what's going on okay and then you're going to take your block of redstone and attach it to either one it really doesn't matter and then right here is going to be where you want to run some redstone out so you can kind of see the direction it's going if you're going to have this run off to your automated farm or your mobs grinder or whatever else you want to actually have there and then all you need to do is put a redstone in this corner and a redstone in this corner and that's it that's all there is to it now comes the slightly slightly complicated part this really isn't that hard but it takes a little bit of thought process to go into here okay a standard hopper sucks out 2.5 items every second I know it's, a, it's an odd number so it makes doing the math on it a little bit hard but just think of this for every item you have in there it's going to go pretty much instantly so for one second it's going to take out two and a half items that means if you want to do five items it'll give you two seconds if you want to do ten items it'll give you four seconds if you're going to put twenty items in there give you eight seconds etc so if you're wanting to try and figure out exactly how long you want it to go let's say you're like okay well I need to get uh, every ten seconds I want it to go off here so you basically just do the math of 10 seconds times 2.5 gives you 25 items here so you would take out 25 I'm sorry I can't count put it in here and you'll see it starts sucking it out and putting it back into here and once it gets completely full on the opposite side it'll trigger the comparator over here and it'll push the piston back over here triggering the redstone block powering out to coming over here so you can sit here and time it if you want to and I tested it out it's pretty much dead on exactly every 10 seconds so if you're trying to figure out exactly how much you want to be able to put in there that's the math that you do um, if you put in a full stack of something 64 items in there it doesn't come out even it comes out to like 25.6 seconds which it more or less just kind of rounds up and down at the same time I know it's really crazy but it's like every other time it seems like a little bit faster than the last one here so if you fill a hopper completely full which is 320 items it'll take it 128 seconds you know a little over two minutes for it to go through and click it here I don't know any practical applications as to why you would need that much of a delay in it but I guess maybe if you have some sort of automated farm and you want to give everything time to actually run then you actually can so that's pretty much it is just you take however much time you want 
this thing to run, multiply it by 2.5, and that'll tell you how many items you actually need to put in there. So, like, I need it to go every 30 seconds. Multiply that by 2.5, you need to fill this up with 75 items, which you can use these other slots here for. And like I said, once it gets completely over, then it'll recognize, the comparator will recognize, hey, I have slightly more power than this one over here, so I'm going to light up my piston and force it the other direction. Now, as you can see, they're both lit up here, and as you watch it, shift see it one goes off for just a second because it's just long enough for all the items to get over and then it starts going right back again so it works as a pretty reliable clock and I haven't found that if this causes any kind of lag in like multiplayer servers so I mean because it's only going hopper is the only thing that's really going until you start having it you know really work on it here so let's say if I was going to take out I'm not even sure how many blocks I have in there anymore here we'll take out this many just to see how many is actually there, because I can't remember how I put it in. But you can see I took out some of the blocks, and so it'll start going a little bit faster. Let me see, I took out five of them now. So it's going pretty quick. You're not going to get a whole lot faster than that, because it's two items. So you got two items in here. That's right about one second. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. That's about it. That's about as fast as it's going to get. If you took out one of the items there, it wouldn't go any faster. So anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe learned something from it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate to ask. Leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. Um, in the meantime, just use this, be creative, and see what you can come up with. You guys have a good one and I'll catch you later.